Hey, welcome guys to our series about Databricks. Today we're going to talk about uh, recommendation engines as part of our showcases series uh, about data in Databricks. So uh, last time we talked about how Databricks are quite good for uh, stream processing, for batch processing, for ETL uh, in general, but that's not all. Uh, Databricks are quite good for machine learning and modeling uh, problems as well. And today we're going to show you an example. So. Databricks, uh, let's see, easily combine both the ETL and machine learning. And um, we're going to look at uh, an, an example uh, how Dollar Shave Club uses Databricks for their recommendation engine. So, as usual, you have to, uh, when you are preparing data for modeling, you have to do the uh, usual parts. So, ETL, you have to extract data, transform it, and then uh, in Databricks, it's quite easy to prepare the data descriptions, so the statistics, the, uh, you can see if the distribution of uh, variables is uh, normal or is it uh, something different, uh, then you can uh, quite easily go to feature engineering and uh, prepare one hot encoders and all that you need for, uh, for your model. And uh, if you want to start the machine learning, you don't need to go somewhere else. You don't need to switch environments. Just scroll a little bit down and poof, you're there. So uh, it's it's quite easy with Databricks. Uh, you can easily prepare and evaluate models uh, using Python and uh, MLlib. And what's also quite important here is that um, Databricks comes with a little something, uh, something called uh, MLflow, which is a model versioning tool and a experiment uh, tracking tool. And with that, you can easily uh, switch between models. You can easily check which one uh, was performing better or worse in a given scenario. So uh, guys, well, if you're looking for uh, an environment for a tool, that lets you combine the ETL and machine learning, Databricks is the way to go.